So the BFG award. This is the overachiever of the of the year. So keep keep that gap in mind, and just like overachiever. The way I always looked at it was like this game could have stopped. Like you didn't have to keep adding all this stuff. But thank you. So um, we've got Wolfenstein, the new order. Uh, South Park. Not the old order. The mm -hmm. Stick of Truth. No, that one wasn't over. <laughs> what happened here? Wasn't or order enough. Lost my thing. Uh, <laughs> wow. Divinity Original Sin. I was actually surprised that didn't come up more. But I think Ethan was our heavy player of that game. <laughs> uh, Shadow of Mordor. Far Cry 4. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Elephants. <laughs> Alien Isolation. <laughs> <laughs> elephant isolation. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> Imagine motion tracking that elephant coming after you. <laughs> I don't think you would need it. You just yeah, hear you it. You just start shaking. <laughs> Diablo 3, Reaper of Souls, or whatever they call the console version. Yeah. So, ultimate. Ultimate edition. edition. Evil edition. <laughs> evil. Or? Ultimate evil. Any, anything you'd like to add to, for consideration here? Um, so this is our big ask, overachiever. 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 Big fat game award. Um. <laughs> I want to throw. I'm just gonna throw this out to talk about it. That's what we'll be watching. Yeah, you don't yeah. have to tell us about it. I think I think Call of Duty could probably be on here as well. Sure, Kevin Spacey. But then you could probably just take it right off. Uh, Bye, that's Kevin the Spacey. Plan. Mm, there you go. Th that's that's. Take it off. Yeah, that's that's take it all off. <laughs> as close Kevin as Call of Duty. Spacey. I mean, it's, it's, not, it's not necessarily. <laughs> okay, <laughs> our, my I'm first target. Space, Go ahead. Sorry. No, I was going to say, that game's not really overachieving for what it is, but it was definitely an improvement on yeah. the yeah. past year's games. As it should be. Now yeah, we yeah. got another category for that, too, so mm -hmm. we'll have to talk about it. Um, Far Cry 4 is the first thing that stands out to me. To what? Get rid of? Yeah. Because Far Cry 3 exists. Yeah, exactly. The elephants are cool, but... That's yeah. about it. Like it, It's kind yeah. of like, yeah, this is I'm just gonna pretty much what we expected. Yeah, okay. I'm just going to say this. The fourth game yeah, of a franchise yeah. like this should not be as m fun. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> it's it, should have, fun. it should have worn out its welcome. Yeah. But so I'm fun. okay Are with we all in agreement they can't make Far Cry 5 like, like this? Yeah, Far Cry 5 has to be different, I think. Oh, I would okay. hope. They, Far Cry 5 honestly, for someone that iterates. has actually bought this game, they could, and I think I'd still be okay with <laughs> <Good>. it. <laughs> okay. I you didn't, didn't play three. As How do you someone feel who about illegally downloaded and didn't pay any money. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel about vampires, though? Because Ubisoft's been asking. Oh well, uh, well, yeah, Far Cry vampires. I'd be all over. <laughs> all right. Can you? Can I ride? I just, a, can uh, I ride a vampire? Again, I'm, <laughs> going, I'm going back to the gap. Wait, wait. If I can ride a vampire, isn't that just True Blood? <laughs> He's got a point there. Okay, I'm fine with getting rid of it. I just want to say that the, yeah, the, the so fourth you, game of yes, this franchise should not be this point, entertaining. Yeah, it should be. It should be bad. Well, and they got Blood Dragon mixed in there too, right. which was also awesome. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So that's a that's a every that, game should be Far Cry. You know, All right, South Park. I like you because you should have sucked and not come. Oh yeah, I and that even come out. And and I can't. I was saying this earlier um, before we were streaming. I can't believe I just forgot about money. this game <laughs> because yeah, that game should Far not Park. be as entertaining as it is to not only play but to watch, to experience other people I'm playing it. Don't. You know, especially watching other people stream it and just the random stuff that happens. <laughs> that they went well really ab that above done. and beyond what my expectation was. Can it, can anyone speak to Divinity? I can't. I tried I can't. Uh, I watching a playthrough of it. Yeah. I, it, I, I personally can't, it. but um, I have a friend. I think the big thing is like it's a different style of game from the previous games in the series. Um, so I think there was question marks there of like if it would be able to be decent from changing paths, but. Mm -hmm. I don't think it is something that can stand okay. with anything else on this list right now. I mean, I, I'm i surprised it made it on my radar at all. That was kind of its co the compliment to that game is that yeah. it got so much so much great buzz this summer. And, uh, um, yeah. But, I mean, it's something I'm definitely going to But I don't know if it was supposed to suck either. So <laughs> yeah. I think the other I, games in the series, some of the other games have been real terrible. Yeah. And that this one is such a massive they, improvement. Yeah, they made this one really well. Because yeah, everyone who li likes the series and, li and has played that game raves about it. What about getting rid of Diablo? Yeah, I was about to ask about okay. Diablo. Like, what's... I'm actually... Hold on. I'm going to target Gods will be watching first. Okay. This is just... I just don't think it'll hold up. Yeah, no, I don't think it'll hold up. I'm glad it was on the list, but... Yeah, but, like, I'll, I'll just, like... 
the, the, they stuck to their fucking guns and is that the pixel? Yeah, it's pixel a, like a little adventure yeah. game that huh. yeah, yeah just has kind of your point and click stuff. Yeah, and the, the details they went into oh. how you win scenarios are just it, it's amazing to me. I agree, yeah. but not that fun to play. <laughs> well, <laughs> for okay, reasons. so for fun? Yeah. so for Diablo three Reaper of Souls, uh, Diablo three kind of for a lot of us didn't go that well. And I kind of stopped playing it after um, it first came out. They did went through all their auction house stuff, and and then Reaper Souls came out and kind of just for me it fixed everything and just made it fun again. And but, I, but that, as I'm saying this, the gap is it? Yeah, I was about right to say there. it's like they made it fun, but they didn't go and above then, and beyond what and they should have. They just yeah. finally delivered the game well, that they should have in yes. the first place. Yeah, I think the translation to consoles and the controller um, People, was a little bit of a surprise too. People. Uh, I mean, it seemed like the console fans really, really liked that game. So, uh, yeah. but yeah, I, I guess, I guess, in the expectations and 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 like I said, that gap there just doesn't hold up. But I will also say how they continue to patch that game makes it more and more playable every day. So, um, all right. So when I look at Alien Isolation, still, it's kind of like the good and the bad is the fact that it's so damn long. <laughs> it's just like holy shit, you made a lot of Alien, and that's awesome. But it does that make it a good game? I think so. Well, compared to everything that Ding-dong. Alien has done in the past, the Alien series has done in the past like ten years. I think it definitely. Yeah, it's... I think they overachieved by not making it a first-person shooter. Okay. Well, yeah, they definitely Re- the... refocusing on yeah, like what the made... atmospheric elements of the actual series. Yeah, I would oh, agree. Yeah, yeah. I mean, because yeah. it's, it's all just it's, how everybody's saying it's just... all atmosphere. I mean, it's just as soon the, the okay. second you start that game, you're like. Okay, I am in this world. The details that they went in, the actual, um, the the way they use sound, the way they the way the alien first appears. Okay. It, I mean, it's just it's it's all atmosphere, and I the last game that really freaked me out and kind of kept me l- like constantly attached to what I was doing was probably Fatal Frame. You, you know, mm-hmm. you've played that before. I mean, it's just like, just like total I have to, immersion. Like I, like, yeah, total immersion. I just have to like get out of, like when I when I can't even stay on my computer when I'm done playing this game. Like I, just have, <laughs> I, just, I just have to like get out. When I'm looking at this now, I think cry in the closet. Did any? Well, and think about where think about where the any alien games were before oh, this. Yeah. I oh, mean, yeah. that's a good point too. Yep. Well. Yeah, colonial it marines. Wouldn't, is it wouldn't have taken <laughs> right. It wouldn't have taken a whole lot to to improve on what they already did, but then they just blew it out of the water. And then, oh no, that's a good point. I, I was gonna say well, we've got our comeback award later, but the but ba- it's not the really bar, a, the, the, but after they announced this after colonial marines came out, that did set the bar kind of like when you when I go back to mm-hmm. that gap, and then I'm now I'm looking at Shadow of Mordor. I don't I don't know what everybody else's interpretation of of the hype of that game. Like, what did you guys expect from that game? Like, kind of just a hack and slasher. Like, did you expect bad things? Like, no, I expected no. another Lord of the Rings game. It, it pretty much delivered on what I thought it would be. Okay. I, I mean, I feel like, like out of these four, I think that's the one I want to cut. Like, I think like Shadow of Mordor. Yeah, I would agree. Shadow of Mordor probably would have been more impressive if you didn't really know about the Nemesis yeah. mm-hmm. engine before but, you played it. Yeah. If they just like surprised you with that, oh, and you're yeah, just that's, like, holy that's shit. What like, what I did feel like I couldn't get a straight answer out of people of whether it was fun to play or not. Like, yeah. yeah. But, it took but until I think you fun played play. it for me to understand if it was yeah. actually fun or not. Okay. But I think, yeah. I, I'm okay with cutting it and making our final the okay. finals list here. Because... Why the fuck is a new Wolfenstein any good? <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, it's great. And then South Park shouldn't have come out. And it should have been broken. And it should not be as dense as it fucking mm-hmm. is. I okay. agree. Good yeah. lord. Um I would say I would say South Park and Alien Isolation are probably the most immersive games that I've wit- you know witnessed mm-hmm. or actually played this year. I am leaning towards South Park just because it's the fucking show. Like it, it is yeah, it you're, is. You're playing a very long episode of the yeah, show. I'd agree with that cuz like you said there's other categories that I'd fight for with Alien, so. Yeah. Uh, were you at Mr. South Park and Wolfenstein? I I'm still Wolfenstein. Okay. Because I, I would I would say I would maybe also agree with Wolfenstein because of the fact that 
there was such a huge gap. Yeah, I mean, Wolfenstein has never actually been good. No, <laughs> it's always never. it's just it's never been good. It's it's only just been like technically impressive. Right. Like the original, was okay, right? yeah, the original, the original was the first of its kind, so that was impressive. You know, Return to Castle true. Wolfenstein was the same way. It's like the game was boring, but it just looked pretty. Yeah, the the, the one for Xbox doesn't exist. The and <laughs> sorry, Go so ahead. yeah, it 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 just should have been another generic, good-looking shooter, and it was pretty fantastic. I would agree with that. With South Park, I mean, it was great, but knowing how invested Matt and Trey were in it, I kind of, I mean, it was way better than I thought it would be, but I expected it to be pretty good just with how, because they weren't involved in the other games I didn't know if that was just hype, though. That just, I mean, but South Park just flows so well. It does. It really does. Um, Okay. They, okay, my and as many times floor? as I've seen it being played by other people, like Aaron and other people that I've witnessed, it's completely different every time too. Like it's it's the same, but it's different. Yeah, I mean the the story is the same, yeah. but the way so, you get the, the way you get there and connect all the dots is pretty impressive. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess looking at it south, because Alien Isolation is kind of on rails. Like you're kind of limited to what you're doing because at some point you're just running yeah, as around. Far as I, know. I think this yeah. is between yeah, as as South Park and Wolfenstein. Yeah. Um, so I was more surprised by Wolfenstein, but I think I can see more. More was put into South Park, so they. I think they certainly overachieved. Okay. Yeah, they they overachieved. Are, are, you what, just, are you guys just dismissing Wolfenstein because the gameplay is the same and the story was what was interesting? I I'm dismissing it now. Okay, I'm dismissing it now because it didn't have the floor. Like I I I. I I didn't know if South Park was going to come out after THQ got bought. Mm-hmm. And then they kept right. pushing the game back and doing that like, oh, it's going to be March. It's going right. to just going to kind of squeak it out. Then I was like, well, you thought it was going to die. It yeah. might suck. And why would Ubisoft care about South Park? And Matt and Trey just tried to do too much with it and it's going to fall apart and it's Obsidian and they make broken games. Yeah. And <laughs> That's quite possibly why I forgot about it. Because there's so much against it. Yeah. And then even with Wolfenstein, it was just like, I thought it would be okay to play, and like, well, it wasn't like I, this. Okay, so th- this might this might be a good argument for Wolfenstein. Okay, so there was Rise of the Triad, yeah, and then there was Wolfenstein. Which yeah. one? You know, Wolfenstein clearly, and also just, Wolfenstein <laughs> clearly, yeah. yeah. So you know that that's the kind of comparison you can make to a game sort of the of other, that age. The other addition mm. to Wolfenstein is the fact that that story is so good, right, and so it damn is. entertaining, yeah. Um, and they didn't need to add that. <laughs> Maybe um, one or of the things that makes Wolfenstein such an overachiever there was absolutely no hype whatsoever yeah like no was, one cared yeah, there was no build up it wasn't until it built, still doesn't have Nvidia settings but hey everybody this is a great, yeah, yeah. This is a great I game had, I don't think it had more to overcome than South Park does I th- yeah I think, yeah. I think yeah. Cause yeah, the, the old Wolfenstein and games fr- yeah. licensed game. technically <laughs> they didn't have the label of being terrible like yeah. the old South Park games did yeah that's true because it's like the South Park games it's like Wolfenstein has been consistently what it what it is yeah. Until now, where South Park has always been right. disappointing. So South Park has risen above, way above the bar that was set. Was right. Wolfenstein Phoenix. just, yep, yeah. Just I can, I can, I can be, I can be convinced. Yep. I can be convinced. So Alien Isolation one. <laughs> <laughs> no, I sticks was, did. I was this, sticks. Is Jor- this is why Jordan. This is <laughs> back on the list. Sticks Isolation. All right, South Park. <laughs> Jordan can never host. BFG Award winner South Park, The Stick of Truth, runners up. Wolfenstein: The New Order and Alien Isolation.